cocaine has arrived in New York and fucking in the port of New Jersey. You heard Marcus Conti reporting on the the cocaine. The cocaine has arrived. Oh damn! Fucking look at this shit, man. So uh, police seized three thousand pounds of cocaine, seventy-seven million dollars in the port of Newark. New York, Newark, same thing, right? It's the bridge I always stand by. That shit came right under the bridge. Or did it? Or did it? Let's take a look and see what's going on with the cocaine, man. It's fucking about time the cocaine got here. But who's going to profit from it, right? So here's Fox reporting. Well, somewhere a cartel boss is probably very angry because investigators have made an enormous cocaine bust, some 3,200 pounds of it. It went down at the new port of New York and New Jersey. Teams found it in a shipping container that had apparently been loaded onto a truck. Customs and Border Protection reports it's wow. the largest bus there in about a quarter century. The estimated value on the street, about $77 million. Wow. Well, somewhere a cart- $77 million in cocaine. That's a lot of cocaine. Let's watch this. I told you a long time ago, you fucking little monkey, not to fuck me. Hey, hey, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, huh? You wanna fuck me? Who the fuck do you think I am, you fucking dumb boy? Come on, come on, come on. Do you wanna go to war? Come on, do you wanna go to war? We'll take you to war, okay? Tony, coño, come on, man. Alex, you there? Hey, he's not there. We're gonna war. We're gonna eat that salsa for breakfast. <laughs> You wanna play what? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. It's a clean business, right? Fucking cocaine business, right? This shit is crazy, man. Fucking damn clean business. They just caught, they just put away Il Capo here in New York again. Always in New York. They bring the drug dealers and all the scum to New York to to, to put them through the ringer. So Il Capo, the largest drug cartel guy in the world, is now in is now in prison. But I thought the wall, right? I don't want to rub the fucking wall in your face, man. But I thought I thought all the drugs were pouring in through Mexico, right? Here's a boat, right? The port of of. Let's take a quicker look. So originally, when I looked at it, I saw <clears throat> all we saw was photographs, right? We saw f- three photographs in that <clears throat> Fox report, but then I found this in the New York Post. It's an actual. It's an actual recording of. It's an actual video. Check this out. DEA, right? <clears throat> Looks like the same load, right? Same, same boops. One fell off the top. Right? So, I guess, I guess the point is, is, um, right? That's all we have. We have, we have a a small video with a bunch of people that look like police. No one has tried the cocaine. Maybe get some, get some cocaine heads in there, sniff a little bit. Make sure it's real. Make sure it's actual cocaine. So you always you always think of diversion when you see these things. So let's look at the official narrative and see if it changes over time. Investigators cracked open a, a shipping container in Newark and made a once-in-a-generation find. 3,200 pounds of Colombian cocaine worth $77 million. Wow. Three, so it's Colombia. Right? That's, that's new. Right, so it's from Colombian. Colombia, Colombia. Inspectors from Customs and Border Protection and Drug Enforcement Administration at the port of Newark singled out uh, the container for, for search on, listen to the date, February 28th, after noticing that it its lock appeared to have been tampered with, law enforcement uh, sources said. So it's already uh, it's it's already twelve almost two weeks ago, was the bust and now they're reporting it. That's uh, I don't know. Okay, you you see who where it came from. You try to do a little bit of an investigation, see where it came from, and all that stuff. Get it right, but but uh, there is a two week gap. 
the lock was tampered with. That's a that could be an indication that because uh, if you look at a report I did a while ago, I, I have a friend that is a uh, is a longshoreman and wor- works on the boats, uh, Vinnie tugboat. Right? He he works on the tugboats, and he said that the the likelihood of drugs getting into the ports of our cities without being detected by customs is very, very slim to none, right? And th- there you go. They caught it. But but the other thing that is not so impossible is that they that, that as the ship comes in, they're working with offshore boats and that the load is then uh, uh, dumped onto a smaller, sh- a smaller vessel and moved uh, before it gets to customs, maybe like 10, 20 miles offshore, which is, that's what he said is very common. If at all, that's how it happens. It doesn't, they don't let the, the shipment go. So it seems like the shipment may have been coming into Newark and something went wrong. It's just, just fucking let it go, you know? Uh, it, that's what it sounds like. When they opened the container, they found, or it didn't happen at all, or this is just a, some sort of CIA bullshit front where they say, oh, yeah, yeah, it's like they're putting up $77 million worth of cocaine. All right, let's find out where the cocaine went and where does it go. When they opened the container, they found 60 burlap sacks packed to the brim with wrapped bricks of cocaine nestled among several containers of dried fruit, sources said. The score is so sizable that it, it seizes its seizure is likely already sending ripples through uh, eastern shore shoreboard coke market. <laughs> Trying to drive the price up. This is a uh, hundred times bigger than the French Connection, said the insider, invoking the infamous 1970s heroin smuggling scheme. This is going to be felt right away on the street by both drug dealers and drug users. Damn. It remains unclear exactly where in the United States the coke, which originated in the port city of Buenaventura, uh, Colombia, was destined, but it was likely meant to supply a market stretching from Maine to Washington, D.C., the sources said. It's the second largest seizure in the port's history, the biggest in 1994, uh, but it, it dwarfs by the record holder. In May 1994, 66,000 pounds of Colombian cocaine were found hidden in the shipment of roofing material. Last month, uh, last month's raid alarmed uh, alarms among law enforcement that the coke industry could be making a comeback. Cocaine, New York, uh, nemesis of the 1990s is back. They're advertising. <laughs> indicating traffickers push to build an emerging customer base of users mixing cocaine with fentanyl. Ooh. Speedball. They used to call that a speedball. Wow, I didn't know that. Said DEA uh, special agent in, uh, in charge, uh, Ray Donovan. Right. Other agencies involved... Other agencies involved in the bust included the NYPD, Coast Guard, New York State Police, and Homeland Security investigators. A small sample of the cocaine will be vouchered as evidence, and the rest will be burned. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. That's funny. You're going to burn the cocaine. Oh, man, if you believe that one, I got a bridge to sell you. Eh, No arrests were announced, and investigators are working to trace and shut off the pipeline bringing the powder into the U.S. Investigators haven't linked the cocaine back to the specific Colombian cartel, but an expert on South American nations' drug trade said that a shipment of of that size could likely come from only one source. (laughs) Um, So... So where is the cocaine? I read a line somewhere. It says that the uh, the 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 yayo, the coke was was handed over to to uh, Homeland Security, right? So somewhere, somewhere, somehow, somewhere in America, seventy seven million pounds, seventy seven million dollars worth of cocaine is sitting somewhere, waiting to be burned. Right? They're gonna burn it, right? You believe that shit? I want to see it. Why don't we do it? Why don't we do it in in public, right? Why don't we do it where everybody can see the cocaine going up in smoke, right? 
Let's see. Get a couple of a couple of fucking coke heads in there. Yeah, that's the coke. All right, stop burning it, man. Right? See where it goes. But it, it's likely that this shit, that all this cocaine, man, all this fucking cocaine right here, is gonna just end up back on the street, right? That's that's like it's like it's like you you steal. They're stealing, right? They're stealing from the cartel, right? Is that what's going on? They have to. Why are they making it public? I don't know. I think again, it's advertising. Hey, you want your cocaine? You want your cocaine? It's seventy-seven million dollars on the street. Give us, uh, I don't know, give us, uh, give us twenty million, and we won't burn it. We'll put it back on the truck, and everybody'll, uh, everybody'll go their separate ways. Marcus Conti reporting.